Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Noah and you're watching Asphodel Merchants. Today I got us a full set box of Innistrad Midnight Hunt to open. I opened part of a box of this with my friends already and then opened the rest of the box in an earlier video. You can do check that. Oh, hit my camera stand. Expert, expert. Remember everybody, always make sure to appropriately destroy your shrink wrap that way people can't accuse you of refilling alright let's see oh yeah oh boy okay there we go alright Hopefully, I'll finally start getting better. I really don't need to be taking a half an hour to do unboxings like I normally do. Have our box out here. And, oh, hey. Hey, this is first edition. That's really sweet. So, these packs are actually really loose. You know, they're not resealed or anything. Don't freak out. But they've got this rip tab up here. So, these are actually Japanese. This is actually a Japanese first edition box. I might have to buy from this seller again. It probably... Like, I don't know if there's any way to tell by looking at the outside of the box. But then again, I don't think anybody ever kept track from before. So, alright, we got a token. I don't know if there's an expensive token in this one or not. Alright, we've got this art card. We've got our mountain. We've got our commons and uncommons. Uh, do we see one of our important ones? No, not yet. Hey. Ooh, cool, creeper, that's a neat card. Um, ooh, Kessig Naturalist. We'll, we'll look at both sides of that. Lord of the Uvenwald on the back. Nice little lord. And we've got Briarbridge Tracker. It's not a great card, but it's definitely fun. <laughs> Pack 1. Foil Mythic. Alright, let's go to town. You know, 3 mana and 2 green. Uh, it's got... Uh, this is basically reads as Tarmogoyf. It's got Tarmogoyf power, but at the beginning of your end step, you create a green ooze that has this powering. This card's sweet. I wanted it in draft so bad a couple times. I don't even know what that's worth. It's probably not worth anything. Oh, man. All right. Let's just keep going. If you know what it's worth, tell me in the comments. Or do yourself a little bit. Alright. We've got... We don't have a token in the back. Okay. Hold on. So we've got our art card. Nice Geist art. 21, 8, We've got the town swamp. Love all these swamps. Okay. We've got our commons and uncommons. All right, first rare. Let's just jump into it. All right, let's actually make a different stack of rares. Ludovic Necrogenius. Um, it's 2-3 on the front, and it's some words on the back. Yeah, I've transformed it once. All right, we got some more commons. We've got Mask of Wizard Land, Return to Nature, and Strength of Night List. Okay. Three... Mana and black for the kicker. Creatures you control get plus one plus one to turn. If you paid the kicker cost, zombies you control get an additional plus two plus two. Why? Why is a card about zombies got wolf art on it? That is so weird. But okay, it's a list card. It might be worth something. Who knows? Hopefully the number one thing from this video will just be me doing better practice opening this stuff. Our tip card, we've got that's on the back. We got our art card. You know. Hmm. Then is the uh showcase Arlen. Arlen Mo the Mune's Fury. Number four. Alright, we got a mountain. And we got our comments. Okay, we've got Slogurk, the Overslime, Eternal Night Frame, Uven, 
Land Liberator. I think this actually might be a dollar or two. I really don't remember. I'm seeing it pop up a lot in modern. A cut first. Hostile, hostile. You know, a, a first class name, you know, A tier name of a card, B tier card. What's it on the back? Creeping in. Neat card. Neat card, to say the least. And foil con. I like the pull tab a lot. I wish they would uh, start putting the pull tab on English edition boosters. All right, we've got a, Sc a Scob Wrangler gold signature. Man, I wish I knew some more people who actually liked art cards and would actually, you know, pay money for them. Heh. <laughs> actually got a Scob Wrangler too. Harvest Tide. Bereaved Survivor. You know, Dauntless Avenger on the back. The bodyguard. Yo, we got ourselves a nice little ghoul's harvest. Wow, terrible. Terrible cards. Hmm on. I remember I first started opening, watching opening videos on YouTube. If I could figure out how to map packs again. But thankfully, those dark times are behind us. Alright, we got uh, Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Wow. The n names of cards you'll remember is always insane. Nightning Bolt. Commons, commons, commons. Play with Fire. Rejuvenator, uh, that card. And Sludge Monster. Slimes and whores and slimes. And Foil Stuffy Bear. It's actually the first checklist card we've got. And I'm actually going to tell you, I really enjoyed started bringing a marker with me. To my local game store's FNMs, so I can actually keep my life total on these. It's a pretty pretty good way to actually just keep using them. Oh, God, the other day somebody actually had claimed to never had seen somebody use paper before to keep track of life, and I was like, wow. Bloodthirsty adversary, forty-one out of eighty-one, cool little card. Foil, Eternal Might Swamp. Ooh, to go with my other ones that I don't know that I'm going to get to even play with. True Hound Tamer. Katilda. Foil title. Solid. Man, like... You know, we can't complain too much. We got a lot of cool stuff in the first few packs of this video, so we're going to have to build our momentum back up. We used a lot of it to start out with. Alright, we got our tip card. We got our art card. It's whatever that is. Foil planes. Vivid section. Necrosynthesis. Bird. Candle Grove. Beto Gangler. And Gisa Glorious Resurrector. Very neat magic card. And a foil and rule knob. Not even separating our commons. They, they don't even put them in order. Because they give you the commons in the set packs. Alright, we've got Arlen. Coins. Oh, did I put the foil coins? Put the foil coins in the Okay, unruly mob. Defenestrate. Clear shot. Field of ruin. Fading hope. Hey, Baneblade Scoundrel. And Dire Strain Rampage and a foil. That card. Terrible rare. We got another art card. Mm, swamp. Guns. Daybreaker. Vengeful. Morning Patrol. And... Adeline Replendent Cathar, uh, Foil Harvest Titan Trader, and Frost Titan. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a list mythic, all right, and it's a whole 25 cents. Foil Adeline.
old stick fingers art card island shipwreck geist wave evolving hey so morbid opportunities is actually a couple bucks that's why so hot take right fast because this card reminded me of it midnight hunt is a lot better for opening than crimson vow and i'm going to tell you because morbid opportunist is an uncommon that's over a dollar uh infernal grasp is another black common it's almost two dollars and there's here's our rare for the pack you know shipwreck marsh this is a nice little bill uh it's not foil but it's still good but a rare and whoa this pack is stacked you got the graft keeper soul keeper on the back harvest tide Sarah's viper spangs foil screelix and obsessive stitcher list guard from ye old of 2021 uh what is the common consider there we go blue little consider common is two dollars and you'd really be surprised how much commons and uncommons like that come through to save the value of a box versus something like crimson vow where even most of there's only a couple rares that are even worth more than four dollars all right kissig Ugh, these pyres are terrible down here in the corner but yeah we got the kissig art card we got another foil planes everybody we're doing it all right ambush and shitty triplet and storm the festival and neonates rush man dealing damage drawing cards I love Nini's Rush. Everybody always tried to tell me that Raid was so bad in this draft format, and I just never listened. Didn't care. Liked the cards. I played with them. We got, what is that? A four star card. We got a Swamp. Mm, commons. First uncommon. There's no way those are going to keep separated. Denic. Pious Apprentice. It's Denic. Pious Apparition on the back. Brrr. That's your draw card. It's straight good. And foil back. Tokens. We've got our art card, Forest, Crossroad Candle Guy, Jack O' Lantern, Scob, Traveler, Mystic, Bird, Siphon, Insight. Really cool little card. See, you play it all the time, but it's not worth very much. All right, Full of Old Nair and Singer, and Celestial Ancient. Okay, normally I try and look at the list to see what the expensive cards are, and it is a rare. And it's all the way from Disengine, but I have no idea how much this is worth. Because that's the thing, is like, I, I haven't actually counted out to see how many of the list cards are even that big of a hit. There are, they are definitely out there. We I've gotten a few of them, but it is tough to remember what they all are. Because there's no, ooh, that is a sweet Tovalar art card. 7 out of 81, total art. Michael Walsh. Good job on that one. We've got ourselves a mountain. Permanent Sage, a neat card. Obsessive Astronomer, great draft card. And, hey, overgrown farmland. I think I normally always keep the land cycles from these just because, you know, I'm a land baron. Okay, Foil Jadar Ghoul Caller of Nephalia. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, I wonder if the silver screen foils are looking good. Also, I need to do a whole video talking about how excited I am for Innistrad Double Feature, which is of a list card. That's actually probably more expensive than I think it is. Because I hear a lot of people trying to run down that product, and I think it's going to be amazing. Hold on just a second.
All right, I had to shut my door right this. Um, we got Hey Ren and Seven Art Card. Maybe that's foreboding of what's to come. More commons and uncommons. Hey, another mythic. There we go. Moonvale region. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, sorry for those technical difficulties. You're going to have to get to listen to that one raw. I am still a horrible video editor, and I refuse to learn. All right, let's get her. Dad, come it. Pull tab didn't come all the way off. Okay. We've got our art card. We've got our forest. we got dryads. Oh, yay, we got a commander card. All right. A lot of people tried to get upset because they're putting the commander cards in the set packs. That way we have to buy set packs. And I thought to myself, who cares? Like, a lot of the rares in this freaking commander decks are always super cheap because people just crack them open to get one card and sell the rest. They always dump. It doesn't matter. And all of them are only a couple cents. <laughs> it's like, whatever. I'd rather they just not exist. Alright, more things in Angelic Intervention. And foil no way out. Alright, we've got our art card. We've got our forest, no way out. Moon Silver Key, Frenzied Rage. Hey, another Mythic, Sigardia, Champion of Light. Good little Angel Mythic. All right, more of these cards. Another rare, Sigardia Splendor, and full Ghoulish Procession. Hello, dog. We got we got to visit the stream mascot Ajax. Let's just come out. I'm about to just absolutely ruin this video. My, my dog has come to say hi to everybody. Channel mascot, Ajax. He's two years old. He's a good boy. But he doesn't like people knocking on the door. You can just open it and come in. He won't care. But you knock on the door. Alright, back to back to business. If, if you want to see more Ajax, co comment if you want to see more Ajax. I would probably have a better YouTube channel if I just videoed myself petting Ajax and playing with him a couple times a day instead of doing this, but, you know, now I'm holding you all ransom. Get some more room for more stuff. All right, we got our art card. It's got a nice Danic art card. We got our swamp. Hey, like I was talking about, consider it's $2. You think it doesn't add up. But it does, especially whenever you sell play sets, or if you figure out on eBay how to list multiple quantities and give uh, multiple buy discounts. Secrets of the key. Flip the switch. More commons and uncommons. Falcon Red Pit Fighter. Not a very expensive card, but it's definitely going in my mono, in either my mono red aggro deck that I'm building for FNM, uh, or my or. Rakdos Vampires, and a foil this card. And if you'd have told people a couple, like, just five years ago, if you'd have told people, yeah, Wizards is going to make a box, it's got a few less cards in it, but it's almost got, it's got 50% more rares and there's a foil in every pack, people lose their minds. <laughs> it's not the same. Oh, is that a forest? It's forest and not even swamp. But foil swamp, we love our foil lands, all of them. Rise of the Ants. We've got Sun Gold Sentinel. And Foil Ride of Oblivion. Oh my gosh, we're already done in two minutes. I've got to get faster at this. We've got our card. Well, we've got our planes. Commons. And commons. Ecstatic, Gale Drifter, and Malevolent Hermit. And Okay, 
some Yoder Island. Eaten alive. More black art. Countdown comes in. Hey! Leatha, Forgotten Archangel. I'm not looking at the camera good enough because you're not getting to see these cards very well. Ugh. We're working on it, folks. Forgotten Archangel. Nice. Five mana. You ever, you ever see somebody resolve this card in Limited? Just give up. I'm, I'm going to let you just know that. I've had some master classes in beating unbeatable rares. But that is the lens of the Alright. Move the camera again. Hopefully you guys can survive that. We'll pull our pull tab. There we go. That was a good pull in the pull tab. The whole actual side came off, thank goodness. We've got Light Up the Night. We've got this mountain. We've got some more cards. Suspicious Stowaway. Nice little rare. Ooh, and a full rare. Bloodline Culling. One back we got one. Still got like six or seven. All right, 21 minutes. Hey, another good um, whole side coming out. Voldaren Stinger. Forest. And guards. Thermo Alchemist. There we go, Gilder. Yeah, boy. Oh, man. I don't care if it did go down in price a lot. I'm very happy to see a Ren in 7. I really want to see one. Any art and foil. Man, that looks good. Man, five mythic box. We we might be on to something here, folks. Just maybe. Ooh, hey, young Pyromancer. I wonder what those are going for nowadays. Oh, I'll probably fall over. Young Pyromancer and a Ranzo. I just want to pick it up and look at it again. That's right. It's going down because, unfortunately, the only deck you can get away with playing in standard anymore is mono is mono white or mono green aggro, or you can play the turns combo deck, which surprisingly is not actually that popular. Like a lot of people don't even play it, but everyone complains about its existing organ hoarder. Now there's a card that deserves to be expensive. Like imagine if you could pay an amount of money to open a certain common. Hey, and there's real money right there for a larger money, by the way. In Infernal Grass, nice little two dollar bill. We've got. Oh man! All right, we. Okay, this officially might be just wow. Been having some poopy box of full order guy right but who cares? We got Ren and Seven and the Meat Hook Massacre in the same pack. In the same box. Not the same pack. In the same box. Just an embarrassment of riches here. That is great. Yeah, my piles have just absolutely disintegrated, and I don't care. Foul play, neat little draft card for sure. Unnatural growth. Unnatural growth is actually six or seven dollars. It's a good rare, good rare foil vampire interloper. All right, I don't feel good thing. Good things come to those who wait. Hey, there we go. We get we got two running sevens. In the, that was actually a thing I thought is like. I wonder if people are gonna start proxying expensive cards with art cards. They won't, because proxy making is already ridiculously easy. Hey, another two dollar consider. We'll take that. We will take that. Some faithful mendings for our modern audience. Modern and historic. Man, let me get me start on historic. All right, a regular Art Ludovic, Arden Elementalist, and Farewell Stone from a Commander. I, I have no idea what that's worth. Hopefully it's a lot. All right, for Arden Elementalist. Coming down to the last for This is the fifth to last pack. Okay, hopefully we'll get out of here before I waste a whole half hour talking about stuff. All right, 
Sonic Gold Apprentice, Schwamp, Commons, no expensive ones, Flame Channeler, and Curse of Surveillance. And Full Cathartic Pyre. Check this card. Full Cathartic Oh, hey, I lied. That was the fourth to last pack. I drew from the far one twice, I guess. Bow, wow, wow. All right, hey, uh, Faithful Mending Claudia? Claudia Gariba, 60 out of 81. All right, turn our pack back over for good luck. We've got our island. We've got our, was that our first pair? Yeah, that's the first rare of this pack. Brutal Cathar. Heirloom Mirror. Harvest Tide. Slogurk. And Foiled on Heart. Rejuvenator Showcase. And got another Sky Wrangler Art card. Planes. Commons, Delver of Secrets. I remember people actually thinking, oh my gosh, they're reprinting Delver of Secrets. And it did absolutely nothing. Piping Needle and Siege, Foil Siege Zombie. Oh hey, there's the fairy who slows the sunset emblem. And back in the day, emblems were like four or five dollars, and now you can't give them away. That was a perfect rip if I do say so myself. This has got that's gotta be a good sign. Right, we've got deserted beach art. We've got our planes. You know, I don't even care if this doesn't end on a bang. Alright, this is a rare. No, it's still just a get writer. And Curse of the Shaken Faith. Womp womp. And I, you know. Shouldn't just talk smack. It's not a great foil rare, but it's neat. I, I would like to play this card. I wish I had time to be more of a Brewster and just make whatever random decks I wanted to take to F&M's and to go to a local game store, but it's just not the time I'm living in right now. Maybe we'll get back to it, but, you know, on a mountain of weird commons and uncommons, we got two great mythics. Uh, we're, at 20, we're at 28 minutes. Thank you for everyone who... Uh, Stayed through and got paid off to see these two great cards pulled toward the end. Oh, man. I love openings, but I need to start making other videos throughout the week to keep my lovely audience that you all are engaged. And now, if you could do anything to help me out, I would really appreciate it. If you guys would like, comment, and subscribe, you have no idea how much it helps. And on top of that, if you know anybody who likes Magic the Gathering and likes box openings, tell them about this channel. Word of mouth, it's the greatest advertising there is. You better believe it. Um, thank you again all so much for your time, and we'll be back soon.